Welcome to DIY for Homeowners. We're Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today with this project, Steph's two worlds collide. For the past two years, she's been writing a book and it's all about her life. And it's gonna be published in January of 2020, but it is now available for purchase on her website. And a little later on in the video, we'll tell you how you get your own copy of that book. But first, I knew I was gonna get some copies, so I wanted to be able to display them here in my living room. So we needed to make a bookcase, of course. So follow us along as we show you how we made a simple wood and pipe bookshelf. The first step was to clean the pipes and clamps. The labels came off easily with WD-40 and plastic blade. After, mom cleaned all the pieces with mineral spirits. Once they were clean, she sealed them with a wax to protect them from rust. She applied the wax, then buffed it with a cloth and polishing attachment on a rotary tool. With the pipe ready, I cut the wood to size. We're using 2x6 lumber, cutting 3 at 35 inches. I tested the first set of pipes to make sure everything fit together nicely. I measured and marked where the pipes would come through the wood. This is a sample piece I used as a guide. I used a slightly larger spade bit than the pipe to make a clean hole. With the holes drilled, I moved on to assemble everything. The pipes we were using are four phalanges, five elbows, five T's, three caps, three 30 inch pipe, two six inch pipe, three four inch pipe, seven two inch pipe, and one connector. All are half inch black pipe. Once we tested the fit, we took it apart and de-stressed the pine a little bit. These are distressing tools, but really you could use anything to make this happen. Then we added a pre-stain conditioner, then stained the boards. We finished that off with a matte poly sealer. We held up the shelf and worked on leveling each part. This was a little bit of a challenge for just two people. We marked the holes, drilled pilot holes, and added anchors. We're using anchors here because our shelf didn't actually hit any studs on the wall. My dad came to help us hold the shelf as we screwed it into place. I added some battery-powered LED lights to the bottom of the shelves. They work on remote so I can turn them on anytime. And done! We use clamps to hold the books in place like bookends. What we learned. The biggest thing we learned about this shelving unit was you need three people to hang it. You need one person to hold it and two people to put the screws in. <laughs> We're really happy with how the bookends turned out. So we decided just to use two simple C clamps, turn them upside down and put them on the shelf. And it's holding it pretty well. I'm also really happy with the uh, the weight of the books don't seem to be a problem for the bookshelf. If you're using different books, then uh, my book is five by eight, but if you're using a bigger books, so you could use uh, you know, wider wood, just depending on whatever you have. So Steph, tell us how you can, we can get your book. Well, so this book is, like Mom said, I've been working for the last two years, and it's it goes over some tough subjects, but it's ultimately the story of hope in the end. And you, if you read it, you'll see a little uh, a little bit more backstory on Mother Daughter Projects and how we all came to be. Uh, but you can get it now on my website at stephaniecostopoulos.com. There'll be a link to that below. And I have a limited amount of copies available now, and when it fully comes out in bookstores, you can get it wherever every, books every are place. sold. Yeah. Uh, but I will put a link, and you guys can check it out. If you guys are interested in a giveaway of the book let me know too because we don't know if people will be interested in that but let us know uh, so if you like this project and want to see more from us be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe right here on YouTube click the bell and be alerted to all new projects and if you're wondering 
It is storming. It is storming. Here, and, and there is no power in the house. The power just went out before we're gonna film. And mom's going out of town today. So yes. we had to film this today. Yes. So we're so we have a little in, behind the scenes. We are standing in the dark. Yeah. Max just kinda hanging out like yeah. what's going on? Where's the light? So if you hear some thundering in the background, it's, it's a Florida. storm. It's a storm. Oh well. Okay. <laughs>